Yeah, I got some uh, elm pieces of log here. My tree that was cut down across the street. The lady was very nice, let me have some. Again, this is elm, so I'm gonna slice them up with the old prosy here. Got one of the smallest ones set up right now. Just getting ready to skim the top. Give me a little flat surface and I'll flip it over and do the rest of the slicing. Look at that dark in the middle. Oh man, that's what I was after. Every one of these logs of this tree from next door had that dark in the center. is going to be beautiful sanded and cleared with some armor seal and oh man okay here's what we got out of the first piece now do one of these there's two there and one there each they all have some sort of crotch that in them like there's a side branch on that one this one I think has a side branch and this one too, a big hook out the side. So I'll be go ahead and do this one here next. Here's the aftermath on the sawmill and the prosy. All right, this is the uh, second little log cutting on this. Two more after this. This one had a little side branch, so I'm hoping a couple more slices down will get something interesting in there. But see the dark starting to come through again. Here's the little top piece of cut off. So let's take another slice.
Okay, this is the fourth of the elm logs that I got from my neighbor. This is the gnarliest of them. So far, just slicing down maybe one more slice, then I'll flip it and put it on the flat that I just cut. But again, it's some beautiful stuff. Here's the last little slice I cut off. So I think this one's gonna get pretty good down inside there. We shall see. Well, there's that fourth log all cut up. That was the first one. Second one, whoa. And the third one, or fourth, third one. Then that one down there I started with was the fourth one we cut up. I was all from my nice neighbor, Elma. Cut on the Izzy Swan Mini Sawmill with the Prozzi Beam Cutter Saw.